Good morning, Arbitrary. Issa here again. We've had quite a few mishaps recently. My... my father, or the magus, as Aunt Cyan would have called him, his life was taken by the hand of an angry god. A cruel god. Violet. <laughs> and then she insults me by mispronouncing my name. I'm nothing. I couldn't even save Cyan. She should have known Crimson had tricked her. It was so obvious. I tried to messenger. I tried to contact her, but something was blocking my signal. I couldn't help her. If I'm being completely truthful, it's rather tempting to blame myself. I, at one point, considered a pursuit for truth and knowledge. I felt like there were so many things about this world that I wanted to understand. And then, look what happened. A fog came that swept away people's memories. Once the fog lifts, they'll forget that there was anything they even wanted to understand. Oh, but that's all just a thought. I'm sure it's only just a coincidence. After all, who cares one way or another? Whether we understand what's happening to us or not, it's happening all the same. Everyone dies. In other news, our dear host Eli has been blessed by our council. He's nearly blossomed into a magnificent vigilante. Soon he'll be able to speak in our native tongue. I'll become one of them. He's already lost his vision. We can hear the distorted voice of a vigilante whenever he speaks. The process has already begun. How exciting! If only Auntie Cyan were here to witness this, she would be so proud. Eli will be joining us shortly, actually. In the meantime, we'll get into today's weather. Today's weather is... Crimson. Again? Well, with that being said, please tread through our cities carefully. Or, as Eli said, don't. You don't have to be careful. You could be as careless as you wanted. I'm sure, in fact, that Crimson would enjoy that. He seems to get a laugh out of people's carelessness. It is still autumn. Autumn should be everyone's favorite time of year. That is when the leaves fall down and the trees fall with them. Autumn also seems to be of particular interest to Crimson. How coincidental. Goldenrod will be sharing the sky with Indigo now that Cyan is dead. There's no room for another shade like Cyan anymore. Hello. Oh, you came earlier than expected. Please, have a seat. I will. Thank you. There is something that I've brought along with me. A tape? How outdated. What's recorded on it? Dolores. I found this tape from long, long ago. It was buried deep within our library. The council, they said that they wanted others to hear it. They need to hear what's on it. There's a reason Violet killed Dolores. She... Say no more. I'll get it started right now. You must be exhausted. You're training so hard. How is your metamorphosis coming along? I'm... I'm so... happy. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> I couldn't ask for more. <sighs> Wonderful. Second year after my death, I'm walking between two worlds, one of color and one of darkness. The inky blackness seems to be consuming the light though, 
Just like the sanitation department consumes the bodies in the streets. So many people have died. I was one of them. I have to keep moving. If I stay still for too long, the sanitation department may try to consume me as well. I don't want them to mistake me for a mess. This is the end of this log. This is the 30th year after my death. I can't remember what light looks like. There are lots of things I can't remember. Sometimes I forget what my face used to look like before I died. There's one person who keeps me going through everything, though. One face I can always remember no matter how much time passes. Violet. My Violet. I love you. You keep me sane. Through everything, you keep me alive. You've burned me. You killed me. You executed me and made me this way, but I still love you. I want to be yours forever. And now that I'm like this, I really think that we can be together forever. I can't die anymore! This is the 126th year after my death. Our civilization is starting to advance. I don't know how they haven't found me yet. Perhaps they've forgotten. I've... I've forgotten quite a lot myself. That was a fog, and... I can't remember many things anymore. What? What's my name? I saw this strange human approaching me, and then... I... I just forgot. It seemed to vanish after it appeared, and... I... I don't remember. I... I can only recall Violet. Just the name. What does it mean? Why does that name keep coming back? Was that strange man related to her somehow? I don't remember anything. My body aches. My skin feels like it's rotting for some reason. I have to keep walking. I'm tired of seeing this fog. I want to get out of here. I hate this stupid fog. It's all I can remember. It's all I can remember. I want out. Wait. I... I see a light. I see a light. What is that? That light you saw was my lantern. We are the communal sanitation department. What? What's that? We clean up messes. Rather, we clean up things like you. You have been on our list for quite a while, Dolores. And I'm very I'm sorry. We couldn't hear that. What did you say? I must leave. There's someone who I must pursue. That was the only message I wish to- I can't just take it. I will not take this equipment with me. Wait! 